wa Roma. Ibice bitano. Romans chapter 5. Mlongo wa mbere. Chapter 5 verse 1. Mm. Nuko rero ubwo twatsindishirijwe no kwizera. Dufite amahoro ku mana. Kubwo umwami wacu Yesu Kristo wadushikirije ubuntu tushikamye mu kubwo kwizera. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kwizera gufite imbaraga. Faith is powerful. Kwizera. Faith. Abantu bafite uburyo bagiye bakuvugamo gutandukanye. People weren't talking about faith in different ways. Others say that faith is that hand. If you don't have faith, means that you are crippled. There you don't have hands before God. God wants us to trust Him. God wants us to believe in Him. And we really believe in Him. It pleases the heart of God in another power. Genesis 5 verse 6. The word saying that Abraham trusted God. And God also compared it to the righteousness. To believe in him it's so powerful. Which can turn a sinner to become a righteous. Faith has power. Which can give you powers to move in the wholeness and be right to go. To believe in the power of the Lord. To have faith in the love of God. To trust the authority of the Lord. To trust the promises of God. To trust the Lord who talked to you. The one who spoke in the dreams around you. Maybe through the prophecies around you. Wherever God passed. When he wants. One wants to do it. He can do it without telling you. But if he told you. He told you so that can create a heart in you. In the nature of God. God likes creating heart for his children. God may tell you things. And creates a heart in you. God might do for you a miracle. And create a heart in you. And it makes you not to be shaken. And don't forget it. What Jesus did in you. Never forget. The love you saw in Jesus. Don't forget them. How Jesus or God rescued you from your Keep on remembering them and raise your faith. When Paul was teaching the church, he told them, telling them that the soldiers, Ephesians 6, starting from 12, and says, since we don't fight with the flesh, we only fight with the evil spirit in the atmosphere. And he said, put in the all armors of the Holy Spirit. And he said, fight in this way. And he said, put on the faith as a shield to protect you. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. protection. Faith is protection. Your, your chest. That's why your life is. That put on faith. A protection. As a protection. Satan Let Satan not steal your faith. 
Nugu wa urani miyagali na ambana zimeze gute Uza komeze wizere yes Even though you meet the troubles or the winds Continue to believe in Jesus Umuga wabita yo The man called Job Satan yala muga alirishi Satan talked to him Amutwara matungwa yala ya jana And took all his flocks away Amutwara ubutuzi mgana bujana And he took away all his treasures Numudamu wajira wa muhinduka And even his wife turned against him Ajira na umubiri wena umuhinduka na none Even his brother turned against him Wakajayishi mishurujo And he could stretch his body Alikuyo mugabo by that man, he continued to believe in God. And he said, I trust in my God. And even though my body got destroyed, I know that I will be transformed. And the body which will not feel pain or die. This man had revealed God. When you have faith, you cannot nearly die. The word in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 11, the word says that the spirit which rose Jesus from the dead is now living in us. It is a shield which protects your chest. Kizera. Faith. Ingabo. It is a shield which protects your life. Your heart. John. In the Gospel of John. John 11. Verse 25. Yes. Jesus. That he want to see Mary and Martha. And he left what he was doing. He wanted to see where they were. And he met Martha. Lazarus was dead four days. But he told Jesus mighty words. And to him, I wish you were here. Our brother could not have died. Yes, and Jesus turned to him and told him that whoever believes in him, even though he will be dead, will rise again. When you believe in God, he will give you the life where there is no life. If you trust in God, he will give you the hope. There seems to be no hope. When you trust in God, He will give you the word. When you are no one, just only trust. To trust, it's a lot of millions. To trust, it's a very great honor. It is the marvelous power. Hebrews 11 Umurongo. verse verse 23 it said that faith Nico. it's the one let's read there Mose. Amaze kuvu. Kukana. Kwa Faith is the one which made Moses when all baby, baby boy children were getting them. But the, his children, his parents, the parents started to believe that he is someone special. They started looking at him as a redeemer. And they said he, he doesn't have to die. There are things that are supposed to tell them that nothing is going to happen. Tell them nothing is going to happen to me in the name of Jesus. Tell the demons nothing has 
to harm him I have to stop him Tell them nothing has to harm me because of God Tell them which has nothing will happen to me because of God Out of your mouth The spirit Just stand up with a weapon of God Believe in Jesus is still powerful to have faith It's the one which made Moses and he left the food of the palace they had picked him and they told him made him a great man he put everything aside because of his faith and told him you're not living because of Pharaoh he's not the one who has made you to become human they're not the one making you live Mose. Moses and he believed in the God of the Jews and you want to move with him these powers of faith some people they might need some hard life before them because of not really trusting in the powers of God and they start doing what's not right others even they leave salvation they leave others they get weak but there are powers in faith which can do a mighty work Moses he was so lucky Moses he was at Pharaoh's house. He was called the son of the daughter of Pharaoh. He looked at everything. He saw there was a God above all that. He observed all that what was happening. And he gave them zero. He looked at it again. He said, this one is nothing. There is a mighty God. There is a God who is powerful. There is a God who created something and something. He believed in the God of the Jews. And he felt a lot of hope in him. He felt the powers in God. When you've entered They entered in the trouble He was called a slave and yet he was called a slave the food from the kingdom he left it there and he left that food there all the clothing he left it and forsake it aside when you believe in God or trust in God you don't fear death Paul spoke to us about Philippi in the book of Philippians, chapter 1, verse 28, and he spoke of a great word, that my living is because of Christ. It's, it's Jesus has made me to live. If you don't have faith, the wind will carry you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. You will come and dance and praise God. After two weeks, you find when you're dancing in the nightclubs or in the bars, and they begin wondering, is that the same again? You better dance here in the church. 
and get saved. Because after entering into Jesus, if you go back to the world, they start talking about you and casting you. When you're in the prayers and God speaks to you, if you start to dance to the bar, and you start dancing like that, and they begin telling you that this is not a church. Because there are things which are already in your life. When people have lost their fight there, they go in terrible things and go back to the street. And Peter, and Peter said this great word. And said, let it not happen. If you got saved and you backslid again, it's like a gold ring which is in the north of the pig. A gold ring which is so valuable. And you put it in the north of the pig. That if you're having the salvation of God, there you're having something so valuable. Satan may not terrify you. Let the demons not scare you. Let nothing scare you. Continue trust in Jesus. He is the one who is having all your fight. He is so powerful. He is the one having the authority in the earth and the world. He is the one who does something and strengthens hey, it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One day. We went somewhere to pray. When we were preaching, I was teaching about deliverance. We prayed for people, they vomited the witchcraft, others it passed through down. It was something so good. After people receiving deliverance, one lady told the servants of God. I'd gone with one young man. And she told us, pray for me. Those things left, which came out of me, they're at my home. That if I go back when you've not prayed for me, and you've not prayed for them, they will kill me. For us, we went there like as usual. She showed us a room which the husband had hidden from her, and it was a room of the demons. And the husband had told her, No one has to enter in this room. Even touching on it, you'll just stick there. You'll be stuck with the power which is there. The man used to go underground. He had sacrificed his child. And you might find some kind of children who are looking like crippled in some rich, rich people's houses. When we reach there, <laughs> When I looked at that kid, I just decreased my speed. I just and God told me that the father sacrificed that kid when she was in the Zoom. And the, the mother told us that we should enter in that room so that we can see And she told us, before you go there, let me tell you things which happens there. In the night at 2 o'clock, there are things which normally cry and shout, make noise there. And anyone touches on its door only, you just feel the fire is burning. 
It's only my husband who enters in that room. Ah, ni komeza mu mana njago hasengera. And I go I strengthen myself in God. I want to pray from chumba, when I reach before that room. Umungu tuari kuma anguru kubo. The the young man who were together just pulled my hand. Aram gira ko. And told me. Bira vanga tu kiro bge. Kuburu bge ni mana zakurek. Eh, no no. So ni magata vuga tu kiro bge ni jari ko ati. This man told me that be wise. If you don't get wise, God will leave us. The prayers has got no barriers. Why you don't want to? Reach, the prayers reaches there. We started to pray. When we were praying, I felt the powers coming to me. As came like fire. I opened the door and I began to pray. 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 And the glasses in the cupboard started breaking. And it was something like an earthquake. When we were praying, the other kid where she was, she started alarming where she was in the sitting room. She started just losing out some, releasing out things like that. She started arguing. Her tongue was always out, could not go inside her mouth. And her tongue went back into, the, into her it mouth. We didn't know what was going on. And we were going I, I just told that lady that I've seen a, a flag written on it that God is the King of Kings and has come to this house. When I told that lady, she lied down and started crying. And the other kid left the sitting room when he's still moving. And the kid came where we were praying from. I looked at that kid. And they told her in the name of Jesus, the demons will not take him. And that kid fell down. Can we give the glory to Jesus? She, she woke up when she was just, she was, she was, she was There are a lot of things. There are a lot of attacks Satan is having. He will just terrify you so that you be scared. But if you strengthen yourself in the power and authority of God, you reach far. The other kid. That kid. Right now she's a very good young girl. She puts on nice styled clothes. The tongue entered back into her mouth. Right now she's studying. In heaven there is God. I wish you can see her. Sure. She just moves like the, the she just moves like good lady. There is something God can do in your life and you trust in his power. Please to trust. Please and the pro to trust is a diploma. To believe can get you from the deep village and make you to be a king and you become a prince in five days. Faith is the one which made David to become a king of Israel. David. David. When they took him at the battle and Saul gave him his clothes put on and he tried it. Hey! Please believe. Please 
kwizera byagize David umwa Faith is that which made David to become a king Kandi yari umushumba wina and he was a shepherd of sheep Kwizera imana bizagutumbagiza bikuvane mu rwego rumwe bigushira abantu bakome To believe in God will make you to fly and go to another good level Kwizera bizahindura izina ryawe namateka yawe mu masegonda maki Faith will change your name and your background in few seconds. David, David. The Saul gave his clothes to put on them. So that he can go to fight Goliath. And he gave his coat to put on it. And he put on it. Something which is killing people these days. They are putting on Saul's clothes at the battle. They are having other things they are putting on. But someone who is having fight. You remove the clothes of Saul. And you put on the power of the promises. You put on the power of the Promises. He puts on what God spoke to him. When you've talked to God, and God spoke to you, even the sea will come to know it, it divides itself and it works like monsters. If you're having God, we have a God who is so powerful. If you have God, God, everything can change. If you've got God, everything can change, even your power. David, he removed Saul's clothes. He removed them. And he gave them back to him. After he believed in the power of God. And he remembered the testimony he gave. And he told them how he, he killed a bear. How he killed a lion. Sometimes. Think about this thing. When you see the winds and the demons wants to take you back to the world. Remember the testimony you gave before the congregation. Remember the time or your, your time you gave to God when you're in the fellowship. Don't think that you're going to heaven in this month or in the morning. You don't know heaven. Only think about the days you've spent you spent in the house of God. Praying. Remember the valuable things you've ever given to God. The, the time this time you've given to God is so expensive. This time is so expensive. Think about all that. And tell God. Really? I'm putting on the clothes of, of Saul. And said, because of the power of the Spirit of God. People die without seeing where they're looking. Look unto the power of God. Stay at the God of promises. Stay at the things which are mighty you're going to reach. Look at what God is going to make you step in. Look at what God spoke to you. Don't be hurt by something small like a bread. Something so small. Something small. You've gone, you take beers, you can start praising God. And there is a time you'll get drunk, the, the police will bring you into the church that this is your church member. You've gone. You're just there in the fornication. You come and you come and start saying you're the first God. 
Someone looks at you and thinks you've raised in heaven. Someone those people who are, are closing their eyes there have met God. Hey. Hallelujah, Amina. Hallelujah, Amina. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And they start saying that this person is already in heaven. But in the spirit, you are in the 15th world. Those are the clauses of Saul. The clause that Saul won the battle with is that was given to David to put on. Everything which doesn't give you God. Anything which doesn't connect you with the glory of God. Those things. It's a big enemy of your blessing. Don't take your time with something so simple. Brothers of Saul. It made Saul to lose his throne. Clothes. It made God not to trust him. The clothes of Saul. It made God not to reject him. All the clothes of Saul. Are the clothes which cannot connect to the glory of God? But any time will put on the righteousness. David put on those clothes. He removed those clothes and trusted him. That he moved and reached where the stream was. And he picked five stones. And he get one of those of those stones. That stone means Jesus. When you get Jesus. And you make him your great witness. You will never be despised. Yes. Jesus. You <laughs> Ture mumahanga kwaruma Listen to the word of God. The problem you have before you. I want to tell you that you'll overcome it. You will overcome it in the power of the Lord. There is someone a prophecy. Something which falls your family into you receive it and you'll move in it. What others did not receive? What others did not achieve? What that one did not receive? What the brothers of David did not receive? The one of the of Israel did not achieve. God prepared it for this man who had faith who is David. 
Jehova Imana wize The God you believe Taguza ukozi son Ukine kuka ukine kuba ubuzima ufite ikerekezo ukine kumenya icyo Imana ikuvugaho ushobora kubana na Prophet Claude mu materaniro abera kuri Soul Hearing Revival Church ku cyumweru gwera ku isaha ya 2 n'igice kugera isaha 6 ku wa kabiri gwera ku isaha ya 2 kugera isaha 11 z'umugoroba ndetse no ku wa kane gwera ku isaha ya 9 z'umugoroba kugera isaha moya n'igice ukene bindi bisomanuro waduhamagara kuri 0418 Mirongo tatu na rimwe mirongo itanu na kabiri cumi na rimwe gwino uhabwe imigisha ari nako wakira kubohoka utibagiwe kandi no kumenya icyo imana igushaka